back to my channel today I'm going to be showing you how to insert a bobbin into a Singer Industrial sewing machine now this is the model number for my machine now the first thing that you want to do when you're going to do this is to ensure that your needle is at its highest point now to achieve this the first thing that you're going to do is place your feet on your sewing pedal and then you're going to rotate the hand wheel and this will allow the needle to go up and down so you put it to its highest point okay so that's the first step next thing that you want is to ensure that you have a full bobbin or enough thread on your bobbin now this is the bobbin case now I'm going to show you all the things that are on the bobbin case now this is what the bobbin case looks like now, this little slit here is called a thread slit and this area here is called a tension spring now you're going to take your bobbin and you're going to place it right over this so you go you take the thread you take it through the thread slit you come around to the tension spring and there you go now you're going to test it to see if it's in correctly to do this you're going to hold so you hold it like this now if you do it like this and it drops a couple of inches like mine that means that it's in properly if you do it and it doesn't drop any at all if it's that means that it's too tight you're going to take a screwdriver and you're going to turn this little screw to adjust it you do the same thing as well if it is too loose now when it is too loose it will fall out it will, it will just be running mine is incorrectly drops a couple of inches but it drops like one and a half to two inches or one to two inches now that's how it should be now you're going to be placing the bobbin case into the shuttle now to place the bobbin case into the shuttle you can do this by drawing this away I'm not sure if you can see down there so I'm gonna show you underneath now this is what underneath looks like so now we're gonna go and look up here now this little knob that's going to fit here so you're going to be holding this section up and you're placing it over there you're still holding this up and then you're going to pushing it down now it's going to fall closer to this little groove That's what it's gonna look like now you can pull this part away and have a look at it now usually when I'm doing it I don't do this so I'm gonna show you what I normally do because I actually um, know how it feels underneath there so I usually let me pull this away so you can see so I usually I don't even pull this away because I know what I'm, I'm looking for and I know what it is that I'm doing so I usually just go push my hand underneath there holding this up and I hear it flip like that and then know that it's in so I'm gonna close this I'm gonna have my feet down 
Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to spin the, the hand wheel and I'm going to allow it to take up the thread, the bobbin thread that is. So I pull this up and there you go, the bobbin thread is up. Now if you pull the bobbin thread and you feel like it's running, it's coming out too easy, you might want to take it out, take out by the bobbin and put it in again. But this is okay. Right? Now if you start sewing and you and um, the bobbin case falls out, just do it again. Repeat the step again and you should be okay. So that's how to insert a Singer Industrial Sewing Machine bobbin. Okay, thank you very much for watching. Bye.